Hey everybody. I thought I'd give you a few tips and tricks on uh, setting these joist hangers. And uh, the first thing I do is square them up. You can see that's not square, so I'll take the two sides and bend them in and try and square them up with the bottom. You just got to kind of eyeball it, you know, to where it starts looking good. You want it a little bit tight at the top so it'll fit on on your block that we're going to use to uh, gauge where the uh, location is. And see, that's what I have right here. So we got a nice fit on the sides. And this is most important also is to have a good fit across the bottom on both ends. You want a good tight fit. And that's what's going to make your hanger strong. All right, from there we have our joist. It's going to sit on this side of our mark. And what I'll do is I'll hold the bottom of it with my finger. I got it flush and I'll make it even across the top and I'll make sure that this 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 block is flush against the wood and then I'll move my joist to it all right and it's flush right there my joist hangers up against my lumber I'm going to wet the head of this screw because I don't have a magnetized tip, but I'm going to take it. And you know, I'm off my mark a little bit. Let me just move this over just a hair. Alright. When I get that screw in there, I'll push it in just a little bit like that. Now I get it a good start. Alright. Now I'll go to the other side. And I can hold it so it's no problem. I'll take my block out. And then I'll do the same thing. I'll push in. And you can see it moved in a little bit. It's going to move around on you, but it'll be okay. Now you can see I'm even with my line on the inside. And so, I'm going to go ahead and I got my height with my block. Push it in tight. Some people, you know, it'll debate you whether these screws are the right screws or not. But I've used them for a long time and never had any problems with them. And so uh, you can do your own research and find out which kind of screws you want to use. But these are inch and a quarter. And uh, I know my block's going to be a little bit tight when I go back in with it. That's what we want. We want a good tight hanger, even across the bottom, even across the top. And if it's a little too tight, you know, if it moves on you, then you can uh, bump these ears back just a little bit, but bump it toward the lumber so that you don't uh, bend these out away from the... Just enough to... It's enough to get it started when you go down with it, see? Now, these screws, this is one inch from the surface of the wood to the uh, where the head's going to be. So, what I do, that's one inch to the center. So, I'll use uh, at least a two-inch screw 
Uh, I bought two and a quarter. So when I get my joists in, I'll do all four of these with two and a quarter inch screws. And I'll have a real nice tight hanger that'll uh, support a lot of weight. I don't know what they're rated for, but uh, this is the best installation that I know for uh, doing these hangers. There's faster ways to do it, but as far as I'm concerned, this is the best way. Another way to do this is I've already installed my joist, and I screwed in from the back side. And uh, I'll do the same thing. I'll square my hanger up, make it snug here at the top. Like that, and uh, just screw it in place. You don't have to worry about your block. And uh, it works good like that too. Keeping it nice and flat on the bottom. Looks good. We'll come back in here and put these in. I hope a few of these tips help you when you're in your construction of your whatever you're building. And uh, Lord be willing, I'll see you later.